We know in Bath, one in five children lives in poverty. We know that if you're born in Bear Flat, you will live nearly 10 years longer than if you're born in Twerton. We also know that Whiteway is in the bottom 1% for youth provision in the whole of the UK. Added to that, Baines this year has made drastic cuts to its youth provision. It's cut its budget from £1 million a year to £500,000. All these reasons are reasons why young people and children in Bath are getting a raw deal. I was going to school and I didn't really want to be there. I wasn't really kind of a hands up kind of person in class. The only thing I kind of focused on was the sports and the subjects that I actually enjoyed. I was going to walk out of lessons not knowing what to do or where to go. Jade Whale was one of the students who was on our HITS course last year and she was quite a good example of the type of young people that come to us. She lacked confidence, she didn't have any self-belief or she had a lot of um, feeling, she lacked self-worth, I think is the best way to sum up Jade. She would not sit in the classroom, she would not take direction, she would regularly walk out and become frustrated. And um, I'm so pleased to say that the Jade you see today is the complete opposite of that. I first got involved with Bath Rugby Foundation and Bath Rugby Hits um, when I left school. It was something that I never thought I was going to do. Um, I left school not knowing what I was going to do. And from there it's just been a massive kind of adventure, uh, getting into all sorts of jobs and um, volunteering with the Bath Rugby Foundation which I never thought I would be doing. My experience with hit, uh, Bath Rugby Hits and the Bath Rugby Foundation has been incredible, um, has increased my confidence massively and made me a lot happier. Jade now has confidence, she has hope, she has self-belief and she has an extremely positive future. Without hits, I wouldn't be working on match days and having the great opportunities that I have to meet some of the Bath Rugby players and be really in touch with the Bath Rugby community. Um, I wouldn't have an apprenticeship with the Bath Rugby Foundation, which is an amazing opportunity that I've been given through hits. We are, we are very proud to be working at the REC, but we are limited in space. What the stadium will allow us is such a life-changing opportunity to work with more young people. The BTEC that we deliver is unique. It's delivered from a unique environment and we see the opportunity to go into the stadium as an opportunity to expand that programme to up to 200 students. We work with around 30 at the moment. We know there's a need. Uh, we also know that the type of programme we deliver is unique because of its setting and because of the way we work with the young people. The stadium allows us a unique opportunity, a life-changing opportunity and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for this charity and for the young people we work with.